So I got an email from a student here at Ingram High School who uh, says she and her friends plan to walk out during the 17 minutes of demonstration, marking the one month since the Parkland shooting. She asked if I wanted to come out and talk to her and her friends. So here I am at the corner of Meridian and 135th in North Seattle. It's just me and my camera and some teenagers eager like to get some stuff off their chest. Everyone's walking out at 10 a.m. and we're all meeting on the field and then we're gonna have a moment of silence and then we're gonna walk to um, the overpass of I-5 on 130th, do some chants and uh, hold up signs and Lakeside's also meeting us for the student speech. We wanted to do more than 17 minutes uh, because uh, we think that we have a lot to say. We wanted to have one that would be uh, an hour and a half to two hours long to really voice a lot of the students' opinions and how we feel about this issue that we we are desperate in need of uh, you know gun legislation that is comprehensive and sensible um, to protect us. High schoolers and students in general, our voices actually really matter and are making a big difference. Um, you can see the students in Parkland how much of an impact they're actually having in terms of real concrete legislation. There are about 30 teachers at the school who are licensed gun owners, and they and every single one of them except for one said, "I do not want a gun in my hand at school." You guys are very well spoken. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our generation just has a lot of advantages that previous generations haven't, such as technology, social media. We have the ability to get the communication across and we have the ability to mass organize. Some of us um, are in contact with people across the United States. We're actually in a group conversation on an app communicating with people in different states. What was class like that day when the, the shooting happened in Parkland? It's not that it's like a new idea because I think that's true for most high school students and most students in general that we've thought about that. We've thought logically what we would do if there was a shooting and that's just that's not something that we should have to think about. We shouldn't have to be scared or worried or we shouldn't have to have the thought cross our mind at all about what we would do if a shooter came into our class. Parkland was the breaking point for a lot of us, a lot, uh, especially seeing the other the student leaders at Parkland making it. It just happened so many times. It happened at Newtown. It happened at Parkland, and we're just fed up. It's our time to take our power back and to use our voices. And we will be voting in, or at least I will be in the midterms this year. We are not trying to take away all guns. We are for comprehensive gun control. We want to ban on assault weapons that have no purpose other than killing. Teenagers, people under the age of 25, 21, we're really impulsive. We don't have the complex thinking to under to really comprehend the consequences of our actions. I know myself, I wouldn't trust myself in a, with a gun, and I don't trust teenagers with guns. I have guns. some family, family members who are more conservative. My parents, um, they completely disagree with that, and they want me to do what I believe it's in. It's also just amazing like how much support we've received from the school for this. Like I know I feel okay walking out and I know that like my teachers will be willing to like let me make up work if I need to. It's something that we feel passionately about. We're getting students to be yeah. become civically engaged and really understand why it's so important to vote and speak your mind and Thank that's you. why we're doing this walkout. It is time because right now people are valuing their seats in Congress, their seats in the Senate, their seats in their state Senate more than our lives and that is unacceptable. We're here to stay. We're here to vote. Yeah.